Hey everyone, today I have a small haul and I have a store walkthrough of some new items that I found in the store uh, the past couple days. I will take you to my Gingham Shrine and I will show you what I got. Alright, welcome to my Gingham Shrine. I am burning my Gingham Gorgeous 3-way candle on top of my newly acquired pink pedestal. So without further ado, let's see what I got the other day. It's just one back today. Now let's dig in. Alright, first thing I got is the Pink Pineapple Sunrise with Body Butter. So this is going to be a body butter haul from the lovely $5.95 moisturizer sale that we just had. I really like the Pink Pineapple Sunrise scent. When the Tropical Collection came out, I really wanted this. And so I'm glad I was able to get, get it for not $18.95. So there's Pink Pineapple Sunrise, followed by, I got You're the One. Now this is the Glotion Body Butter, and I don't believe this is as popular as the non-Glotion uh, Body Butter. However, I really like the You're the One scent, and I've been eyeing this one for a while, and I thought I should just get it now while it's on sale, and I'll just try it out. Now, I don't know who else is like this, but when I am looking to buy whipped body butter, I have to open up a lot of them just to see if they've been used or not, because I think we all know these are not sealed. So when it's looking like this, I definitely know that no one has dug their fingers in it to try it out, because I think sometimes people do uh, test out the product when it's not a tester product to test out. Uh, so I kind of look through many body butters just to make sure I'm getting a brand new product. All right, and the last body butter I got is the Gingham Gorgeous um, Shea Butter Cocoa Butter. So this one is not Glotion. It's the normal whipped body butter. And we have the Gingham Gorgeous packaging right there. And of course on the top with the Gingham pattern in the background. Now this one, this one is $20.95. So you are paying a premium with the new Gingham line, unfortunately, but that's that seems to be the trend nowadays. So it looks really nice inside. I don't think this one has been used at all. Now, I went to the same store that let me buy all of this early. So I went there when we had that sale and they let me buy the Gingham Gorgeous um, at the price, at the sale price, which was really nice. So these are the three body butters that I got. Pink Pineapple Sunrise, Gingham Gorgeous, and You're the One. And I got one more item. So if you watched my previous video, I mentioned that I was going to turn one of my Gingham Vibrant Fine Fragrance Mist into the um, Gingham Vibrant Body Cream. But instead, I turned it into the Gingham Vibrant Body Scrub. Foaming Sugar Body Scrub. I only have, I believe, one other scent in the body scrubs. So this is kind of a relatively new item that um, for me. But I wanted this because it has more of the packaging. I think we all love the packaging on the new Gingham line. It's way more interesting than, than the lotion. Now, I wish, and this is the case with many of the lotions, but I wish they were able to create a label or do something with the bottle that showcase more of the artwork, more of the packaging, because let's be honest, out of these two, the body scrub looks the best. And I believe out of all of the body care items that are available, the body cream looks the best. You get the full coverage of the packaging and yeah, from the body cream to the lotion, just there's just a huge difference in um, the aesthetics. So yeah, they did not have the vibrant body cream so I decided to get the body scrub and the packaging is a lot prettier for the scrub. So I'm happy with that but I still do intend on getting the vibrant body cream. So an overview of my Gingham collection so far. The only thing I don't have is the original Gingham but that one I believe is my least favorite. So we'll see about that. But now let's go to the store and I'll show you what's new. And ta-da, we're at the store. 
So first we have the five pack of the Gingham Fine Fragrance Mist Minis. And yes, it is pretty weird how Gingham Love is not in a faceted. It almost seems a little lazy and they just threw it in there just to throw it in there. But I guess, yeah, it still looks pretty though. And here we have the Fresh Mint and Tea Tree. Uh, that one smells really strong. So I'm not sure if that scent is for me. They still had plenty of P, B and J uh, candles there. Some of the new packaging like the Island Papaya and a couple more of the Gingham Gorgeous candles. And now we have the Gingham Vibrant gift set, which is really weird because it only comes with a, or it comes with a non-Gingham Vibrant hand cream, the Shea Butter instead. But they have a Gingham Vibrant hand cream, so I'm not sure the logic behind that. But here is the Gingham Gorgeous. It's nice with the pink bag with the transparent um, plastic there. Now this one does come with the Gingham Gorgeous hand cream, so that makes sense. I wonder what the Gingham Fresh will look like or what hand cream will be in that one. Right now we have the Pink Pineapple Sunrise and the Faceted. And yeah, it does kind of look boring with just with without the label. And here we have the new Gingham Tote Bag. It also is a crossbody bag, so it's pretty nice. It is kind of small though, but you can use your rewards on it. I'm going to walk to the mirror to see what it looks like on. And yep, it is pretty small. So it's good for the minimalists out there. All right, so now I'm putting the tote bag down and we're going to take a look at some of these gift sets that I've shown before, but you are lovely right there with pure wonder inside. In three of the fun size forms, the packaging is pretty cute with that gift set. We have In the Stars, You Are the Best, You Are Wonderful, Happy Mother's Day, and Hello Beautiful. And that box is beautiful. I love all the colors. And yeah, pretty inviting. Makes you want to get it. So over here, we'll we'll take a look at the Celebrating You gift set, which is A Thousand Wishes, and again, three of the minis. And over here, we have more of the gift sets of Vibrant and Gorgeous, along with, I think I'm going to show you, yep, the flowers. And with the Among the Clouds uh, collection, they decided to showcase the lovely drawstring bag. And here, I finally get to look at the green pedestal uh, in person and it's a really nice shade of green and we have we have the four colors here the pink blue purple and green my favorites are still the pink and the blue but oh my i kind of want the purple and green too because once the candles come out and i believe the candles will come out in vibrant and fresh but they'll just look amazing on top of them and let's be honest, they're all beautiful. But I'm telling myself I only like two of them just so I don't buy the other two. So yeah, we'll see what that we'll see what happens. Um yeah, I keep showing I keep showcasing these pedestals because they're just really, really pretty. And I still love the ombre ones too. But the blue one seems to be the darkest. I was kind of hoping the purple would be a little darker. Maybe as well as the pink, but the purple one I believe is pretty light but it's still gorgeous to look at and i love the way the light uh hits off of the glass so again one more shot of the pedestals and here we have oh another shot of the drawstring bag this time it's with the sweet pea collection the easter collection and this uh this was from today i saw some candles that i haven't seen yet the pink peach blossom smell is pretty good. I love the packaging on these candles, but I was excited to see the glass lid candles because I haven't seen them yet. And there's a little run through of the four, I believe. And the one that I was most excited to smell was Spring Clementine. And this one is my favorite. Out of all of the new candles, I think I'm going to get this one. And the lid is pretty loose. 
So spring clementines, sugar clementine, Raleigh like blossoms, and I believe sweet amber. I really do like that one. This one, flower card, the lid was slightly better, but I'm going to flip it upside down and the lid does just fall off. So I don't know why they made the lids for this collection so loose. I prefer what we got last year and the year before with the fancy lids with the better suction. And now I'm going to go back to the spring clementine because I'm going to be silly and just look through the lid as if it looks like maybe a fish lens or I just thought this looked kind of cool. Just look at the store through the orange lid and look at the candles. A little different, kind of cool. And putting it back. Best mom ever. Pink, lilac, and, van and vanilla. Not a scent that I would probably enjoy. And now you're the best. And I'm going to go to thanks for everything. And this one is Sugar Lemonade. And to finish up my little store walkthrough, here are some of the new soaps in the faceted bottles. They all look really pretty. I have probably 50 soaps, so I probably won't get any of these. Sweet Apple smelled almost like a fall scent to me. I didn't smell any of the other soaps because I really don't want to get tempted to buy any soaps, especially at that price. All right, and this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my little haul and my little walkthrough in the store. I cannot wait for the new Gingham line to be released in the store because the display, I'm sure, is going to be beyond beautiful because this line is beyond beautiful. I believe we can all appreciate the packaging and I believe the glass um, pedestals will be on display for this new gingham line so that'll be nice to see i do think that there will be a three wick candle in gingham fresh and gingham vibrant because it would just make sense since the new glass pedestals well the colors of the new glass pedestals correspond with this new gingham collection and apparently one of the associates already saw pictures of the gingham fresh three wick candle so it just makes sense that the pink, blue, green, and purple pedestals will have the Gingham Gorgeous, Original Gingham, Gingham Fresh, and Gingham Vibrant three-wick candles on top of them. So I'm pretty sure that is also coming, and I can't wait for that because, oh man, I think that means I might want to get the other two colors, even though I said I wouldn't, but oh boy, here we go. <laughs> so thank you for watching this video, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!